Hi everyone! Hello! We'll just wait a few minutes or a couple of minutes to see if anyone will join us. So uh, thanks so much for popping by today. Um, it's Jay from Itosu Crafts uh, and we'll be doing some... Hi Sarah! We'll be doing some simple stamping um, with the Oso Eclectic um, stamp set um, and then we'll step it up a little bit with the floating frame technique. Um, so uh, if you are new to us, we are Barry and Jay from Ito's Crafts um, and we are independent stamping up demonstrators based in Basin Stoke UK uh, but you can shop from our online shop um, if you live in the UK, France, Austria, Germany and Netherlands. Hi Kathy, thanks for joining us. So I'm just going through um, d just an introduction really um, and we'll be using the Oso Eclectic um, stamp set uh, and then for the floating frame later on we'll be doing the eclectic layers um, with the rectangle stitch framelits. So I thought I'll, I'll just go through, I'm really nervous, I don't know why. <laughs> um, a couple of projects that I blogged uh, last week. Uh, so this one was from the Creating Kindness. Um, it's kind of like a floating frame. <laughs> uh, so I used the petal palette um, and the petals and more. Um, Hi Sandra, petals and more uh, thin lit dies to create the unique frame. Uh, colored the petal. No petal. Yeah, petal palette design in blends, and I used the country floral. Dynamic textures, impressions, embossing folder. Yay! Uh, and then just highlight what that with the craft ink. Uh, so this one was uh, I did the video um, for that with the creating kindness. There we go. Um, so I kind of like just stepped it up a little bit more just by embossing the frame there um, with the mat and the layer. I try to emboss it so that it's basically kind of like have the same so it continues the design from the frame onto the um, mat the knight of navy there we go so those were the two that i blogged and this one is kind of like my take on the simple stamping um simple stamping is a really challenging um thought for me because i i always do loads of stuff on my cards as you can as you probably know by now um, so the simple stamping um, challenge for the stamping up demonstrators are using the in colors so uh, again I've used the oh so eclectic oh so eclectic eclectic <laughs> hi Chrissy <laughs> e I'm not laughing at you I'm just laughing at I can't say the word eclectic oh I said it there we go eclectic um, stamp uh, and yes using the in colors uh, which is retiring um, in end of May and I'm really gonna miss lemon lime twist um, I don't know uh, which colors you like from the five um, which one will you um, will you miss but it, it'll be lemon lime twist for me uh, but granny apple green is kind of like a darker version so that'll be fine um, so let's crack on I'll show you the um, the floating frame a bit later. Um, there we go. So I'll just set up myself. So that with the simple stamping, um, it's just card, stamp, and ink. Um, so I have a base card of Whisper White Thick. Uh, it measures 21 centimeters uh, by 14 centimeters. So again, um, I have altered the card base so for our UK um, customers and um, viewers um, that will fit uh, the width and for our US um, viewers and uh, who uses letter size cardstock uh, you will fit two of the um, the height uh, in one letter size um, cardstock so that is uh, eight and I did write it down somewhere. Eight and a quarter. 
Yeah. So that will be five and a half and eight and a quarter um, folded in half. So then uh, you will, your card would look just like mine. So for the layer, um, I have done, um, what's that? 9.5 by 13 centimeters. Um, so that's kind of like going down in three eighth of an inch um, for our US, for the US letter cardstock. So I'll stamp on here. Uh, I'll be using these. Um, I'm actually going to change that a little bit and make it a little bit more simpler. Um, this one, I, I stamp the fresh fig first in the flowers, then stamp the um, powder pink to color it in. So it's, it's great this stamp set because you can just quickly color the flowers uh, with the with the solid stamp. Um, hi Sandra! Um, and yes and there's some nice kind of like graphic stamps on there with the plus signs. Um, so I don't know I might change it up a little bit so but I'll, I'll get my stuff ready uh, here and I will do I was gonna use uh, berry burst but our, but our but our berry burst ink pad is really gone now uh, it's so dry uh, and we don't have the re-inkers refill so if you really love berry burst now is the time to order it from our online shop uh, and if you do order from us, um, just make sure that you use the current hostess code, which will be on our blog. Um, so I'm using fresh fig, uh, powder pink, yeah, and lemon lime twist. Uh, and also because we have this nice backing, I'll just use the Stamparatus, um, what you might call it? What is that? Barry, what's this? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> the stamp ratus mat sheet. There we go. So I, uh, I don't know. No, I'll just copy it because I can't really think. Um, so we'll start with the leaves and then with the lemon lime twist um, and then just tap tap tap. I think I've just re-inked this this morning and it's really juicy. So. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you a tip. Bear with, bear with. Um, so if you do just re-ink your ink pad uh, and you find that it's really juicy, especially for like the distinctive um, mats, um, small stamping grid paper, thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you, if you find that your ink pad's too juicy for your distinctive ink uh, stamps, uh, it will flood the stamp and it won't um, stamp properly. Um, this might be okay, but I'll just quickly show you um, a quick tip. So once you've re-inked it, um, get like a store card or a spoon and just spread it out. And uh, I, I do this as well when, when with new inks. So if you, new ink pads even. So if you have new ink pads, just spread it out just to, um, so then hopefully that will spread the ink as well. Um, I don't have tissue, I'll put that there. Uh, so once that is done, and then you can see that the difference from there to there. So that one's kind of like flooded the stamp and that one's kind of like just light on the stamp. So this is, um, that tip is great for distinctive stamps as well. Okay, let's start. Uh, so tap, tap, tap. Oh no, actually, what did I said I did first? Fresh fig, there we go. <laughs> How is everyone? You all right? Move over. Please. Move over. Oh, okay, I can't see. Thank you, sorry. You, uh, you can tell I've I don't do this properly. <laughs> I don't do this at all. I'm normally at the, at the other room. Um, doing all of the comments, but um, I thought I'll do this today. So just randomly stamp um, in different heights. 
your also eclectic flower along the bottom across your paper there we go so that is done hi Lindsay you're right uh, now we have pet powder pink powder pink thanks Sarah <laughs> um, and now we have the um, stamp block stamp to color the the flower uh, this one doesn't actually line up like properly or it 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 makes it look like it's just kind of like a blob on your flower but I quite like it because it's just random so there's no there's no point in trying to line it up as long as you're kind of like over the design which I can't because you'll see my head and I tend to tell Barry off when I see his hair and his head on the camera so I'm just gonna gauge this but hopefully you, you get the um the idea there we go there we go so that's that and that is that and we have the I'll just double check that it's okay yeah that should be fine uh, and then I'm just gonna go over underneath with the lemon lime twist and the leaves so has anyone got this stamp set? Uh, no I don't shop that here <laughs> Don't lie. I don't shout. I just give you the silent treatment. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Not about that. <laughs> there we go. That looks all right for now. No, I don't. <laughs> He's saying I do. Right. Um. That is done and trunkle tied. Last with the plus sign so i did this um i tried to align the plus sign so it's kind of like perpendicular is that the correct word uh to the side and the bottom of the block so hopefully when i stamp it um just make sure that that is kind of like horizontal to the page uh and then hopefully that will be that will be straight but if you just if you don't want it as a plus sign you can have it as a cross so then you don't have to um think about aligning it but I do like it to at least have some sort of system <laughs> there we go there we go and there we go so that is that the camera on this phone is a bit weird. There we go. So now I'm going to try and stamp a tiny sentiment in the top right corner. Um, top right, top left. Uh, and again, I tried to, um, to place the stamp. Cut tears. Um, so that one's straight against the block. But let's see. Hi, Frederick. So I'm stamping it. Right, I'm gonna stand up and. Uh, no, I'll do it here. Please be straight. If not, oh well. Slightly off, but that will ha just have to do. <laughs> oh no. Right, I'm just gonna put that on my base card uh, which I said was 21 centimeter by 14 centimeters uh, eight and a quarter by five and a half uh, where is my bone folder Barry did you move the bone folder no <laughs> I'm fired why hi Jean Jian sorry I don't know how to pronounce your name um, there we go. They always laugh at my pronunciation anyway as well, like my lettuce and what other what other words do you laugh at, Barry? 
I don't know. But um, it apparently I I don't say the correct um, pronunciation on most wo- English words. Ah, uh, footer. <laughs> oh no. So yes. Anyway, let's um continue on building this card. Oh, I was gonna prop it up with. No, I I won't say that. I was gonna prop it up with dimensionals, but there we go. That is done. Um, just in case your your um, there we go. Your stamp is uh ink is still wet. I tend to kind of like turn it over and then just run your fingers around it to make sure that it is secure. So that is done with that one. Was the other one? Ah, oh, Gian, cool. Thank you. Um, so that is my simple stamping, or my kind of take on the simple stamping challenge, uh, set by stamping up. And now we can crack on. Do you like that? Um, yeah, this is fun. Uh, this is a fun set. We we've only recently just started. Um, actually, um, going through our older stamps and um, dies um, just so we can make the most of them before maybe they might retire so um, get them now to make sure that if you do like them make sure that you have them because you never know if they they go once they go into the retiring bleh, retiring list um, they might just go like um, most of the celebration stuff um, you snooze you lose <laughs> as they say <laughs> Right, let's crack on. I'm just going mental. Um, so um, I've managed to blog. Hi, Wendy. Um, so I managed to blog this at just kind of like a couple of hours ago. I have done this card um, probably two weeks ago, a week ago, two weeks ago, one and a half anyway. So it's my take on the floating frame technique. So this one, um, oh yeah, probably two weeks ago because I did this when I was doing these cards. So um, the theme for that was like negative space. So I thought, oh, can I fit in the floating frame technique? How can I do it? We don't have press and seal. Um, and I was like racking my brains. What can I do? What can I use? And um, yes, um, so if you saw the blog um, post, uh, you probably know what I already used. Um, but yes, so this one, I used uh, so lint roller refill uh, elephant's foot poof it's it's easier because I, I said it <laughs> I, I was reading it so thanks Sandra <laughs> so yeah so lint roller uh, my alternative um, my alternative way for doing the floating frame technique I imagine it is more sticky than the press and seal that everyone's using about using, but we can't get it except uh, ordering it online. Ah, uh, thanks, Jian. Um, so I will be doing something different. Um, I won't be doing exactly this one. Uh, I'll be using the also eclectic, uh, but this one. I hope the ins- well, yeah, the description on the blog makes more sense for this one. But uh, I'll be doing the ones for... Uh, oh, you got some press and seal. Ooh. <laughs> uh, we'll see if this works. So I haven't actually tried it again uh, since I've done this card. Uh, but this one is from the pound shop. So you get five or six rolls. Uh, it's not very much, but um, you get five or six rolls. And um, so you can do the floating frame technique. Um, quite a bit because that will fit okay it's slightly smaller but it will fit let's have a look the layer because if the floating frame technique you'll have the layer anyway so that will just fit the edges so that's enough now yes play date soon um, so it is sticky so as with lint roller uh, just kind of like use it on your clothes so I'm afraid I'm gonna do it on my t-shirt now uh, hopefully it will work but you might see loads of cat hairs um, because as you know or don't know we have three cats 
And just to take off the stickiness, I'm just gonna actually use it on myself. <laughs> Stick it. Stick it on myself. So then it kind of like the tackiness slightly comes off. Um, so with this card, uh, it did give me a little bit of um, kind of like problem because I used the stitched edge that caught some of the um, the the design of the paper. Um, so that's the only thing to think about. Uh, to be careful for just because obviously it's um it has those tiny little stitching details um sorry i'm not showing you i'm just, i'm still kind of like taking it off so that's kind of like not as sticky ish <laughs> no outfit is complete without cat hair love it wendy yes um all <laughs> All of our clothes. I don't actually use the lint roller as much as Barry. Oh no, I've just completely destroyed my lint roller because it's not on the on the thing. Right. I'll do it. I'll use another one. Um I'm getting distracted just talking. What's a handmade car without a little car? Yes. <laughs> so uh on in our class it's always um one of our class attendees always find some cut hairs on the ink pad and um, it's always a guessing game who um, wh who it comes from so it is really sticky right so just to show you right I'll do that on my legs on my um, trousers just to talk to you what I've actually prepped beforehand so um, I have what do I have what do I have where's my card base so card base the same card size as earlier so 21 centimeters by 14 centimeters or um eight and a quarter by um hi sorry just Barris just walked in um to help me with my sticky roller <laughs> yes please um yes so eight and a half eight and a quarter by five and a half and I have a mat which um, I've already, I haven't stuck some, some stuff down, uh, but I've kind of like placed where I was gonna put it. So this is gonna be it. I'll just move that. So what I've done is I stamped, um, there's another stamp in the also oh eclectic uh, set, which is actually this one. So I stamped that in Fresh Fig uh, colored it with the block um, stamp in berry burst so I don't know if you can see um, it is lighter than usual just because our berry burst ink is a bit um, light now um, that one in lemon lime twist with that set um, with that stamp and this one was the stamp that I used earlier um, sorry I've got um, burping burp <laughs> Burp. This one is the same as the simple stamping I've just done earlier. I've just cut the um, stem just so I don't really want that floating around and then um, and then kind of like losing it anyway because it, it's so tiny I can't use uh, stamping dimensionals. Um, so I will just replace this where I want it so I did take a picture uh, earlier just in case they moved about um, and I will just check that out on a bigger one so there you go <laughs> so that's another tip for you if you're unsure where to place your stuff where you to place your elements um, play about uh, with it and then take a picture and then see if it makes sense or if you like the layout um, sometimes that's what I do um, and then hopefully you'll be happy with the result um, right so nearly there so I think this is kind of like well the die cut thing is the most labor intensive really it takes a while um, so that's why I wanted to prep it already so you don't have to watch me die cut stamp and everything else i've lost some 
There we go. Hi, Lola. There we go. And eh, I think that's fine. <laughs> eh. <laughs> oh, this is going so well. I'm all like, what, what is it? Thumb, thumbs? I'm all thumbs. Oh, thank you. I don't actually know what I'm doing. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Unless I do. <laughs> uh, right, here we go. Here we go. That looks all right, right? Yeah, I didn't have, I didn't stamp enough or I didn't have enough paper. So I've kind of like just stamped it on the edge. And guess what I discovered? Look, look, look. Actually, if you don't want to do this, this way, if you stamp on the edge, cut it out, you've already got an edge. There you go. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and then you can just do it that way. But that's probably harder to um, line up. But another idea there for you, if you want to try it. <laughs> right, okay. So we have, so Barry did this for me. Um, full of hair, sorry. Um, and this will just go over on top. Keeping it in place, hopefully. All thumbs, yes. Uh, oh, thanks, Wendy. Uh, and now we have, sorry, this is like all of my messes, like kind of like off the, um, screenshot is it gonna be yeah it'll be fine so you just need to basically cut the edge I don't know if it's I've taken off the stickiness too much now wait I can't get it there we go so when I did this I didn't actually put it on a on paper because it was only the topper that I was doing um, I put it on the table <laughs> And then I picked it up um, with the lint roller um, sticky sheet and it worked fine. Um, I did say on the blog post that uh, running it through the Big Shot will make the elements stick to the sheet a bit more. So that's what the, um, the problem with obviously putting it through the big shot but if you want the frame on it you will then need to um, oh no I'm missing stuff there we go so just cut cut off I can't cut straight I'll just tidy it, that up a little bit so there, there is a lot of wastage but um, once you cut the middle bit you can have two cards um, in one. Oh, I only prep for one card. So um, I'll stick the main frame, main frame, uh, and then I'll finish off the center card and then block that with the video. Um, we tend to block the Facebook Live uh, video and then put that up on YouTube. So if you're you don't know that we we do have a YouTube channel with loads of um, different videos. I think we have quite a few now. So uh, please like and subscribe. Also, if you can't shop with us, but you'd like to support us. Hi, Donna. Um, yeah, if you if you would like to support us, but uh, can't shop with us because you're either overseas or other demonstrators, um, you can donate and help support our, our channel and blog. There we go. <laughs> I'll just say it out there. Um, right, now you have that laid in place. I will get the big shot out. Here we go. So big shot. So this will just wobble. So what did I, well, I'm gonna use. So that is there. Um, I did bring out my die already somewhere oh the screen's gone 
bit. So this one. So what's quite nice about this um, card layer or dimension is it actually me uh, it looks the same as the dimension of does that make sense the dimension of the rectangle stitched uh, so that size is if I'll just get ours out to show you so we made I don't know if you you noticed before uh, or you've seen us before uh, we kind of like did this templates so that one is actually for your reference number five I believe is it is it no it's number four no number four number five so it's number five die number five which is gonna be from the largest die so it goes one two three four five so fifth from the biggest die so just place that I'm running out of table space this this is how messy I am when I'm crafting um, there so just make sure that's in the center uh, I always skew with it <laughs> put it on an angle um, there we go and where's my plate there we go and then run that through is that straight we'll soon find out Hi Sue, I can't remember if I've already said hi, but hello again. I'll just do it a couple of times. Maybe I shouldn't have, <laughs> because that will be too sticky now. Um, but get that out. Take this off. And don't sit on the notebook. Okay, so let's see if it's got okay did it cut Woo. did you cut no all right i'll just run that through just in case i don't wanna press to take it off too much so just skew with it plate So has anyone done this? He doesn't just get messy. He loves. I yes, I do move out to the sofa, um, and then on the floor, and then there's nowhere to sit. Um, but you just gotta go with the flow, don't you? Um, who's a messy craft? <laughs> I just have, as soon as I think of something, I just have to do it. So everything else, tidying, uh, kind of like goes out the window. Um, there we go. Yay, will you come out? There we go. So now you can just take that off. So take off the backing, uh, Whisper White. It should be easy. So if you can like start off from any of the die cuts, obviously that won't be stuck on there. So take that off. Let's see if it's too sticky. I don't know what I'm doing this voice. <coughs> Are you too sticky? Yes, Lola. I agree. Barry always tells me off. Which is so unfair. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> right. So take off the backing. Nearly there. See, normally if I'm if I um, if I'm not like videoing, I just really like whack it out. But I just want this to work, obviously, right in front of you. I don't want it to go quite wrong whilst you're watching. There we go. So that is done. Again, you can probably that's still okay. You can use use that for something. Another card. Uh, so now we can prop it up. Uh, to make the floating illusion, you do need the stamping dimensionals. Um, so you have the normal one, which is massive, and then the mini one as well. So, um, or you can just cut that down. But I'll just have both, just in case I need it. 
uh, pick to how long have I been bubbling on there we go pick to I can see you just out of reach oh you have to be organ oh there's always one <laughs> no, <okay. laughs> no I just I just like to be really messy <laughs> There we go. I do tidy after myself, um, like early hours of the morning after I craft. Um, so that's when everything goes away because uh, our living our living room is our um, craft space. So yes, so it always goes away at the end of the day. So to think. There we go. And shall I just cut it? Um, what was that, Barry? So the edges, I actually cut it as well. So don't waste it. Um, I'm so frugal with my stash. Hi, Leanne. Thanks for watching and joining us. Um, so I've just done the floating frame technique um, without the press and seal if you can't get it um, and if you have animals uh, you should definitely have this alternative uh, which is a uh, lint roller um, or a lint, lint roller refill even um, yes so give it a go uh, it is long uh, it's a long process. Uh, that's too big. Cut. Cut. So I just use the mini one. Just cut it up. There we go. Uh, sorry, it's really boring watching probably this. But I want it right. Oh, I forgot to show you an, um, another tip, um, which I saw the other week. Um, I can't remember. I think it was from Liz Yule. Um, so basically, if you want to ensure that you've taken off all of your dimensions, nulls, dimensionals, um, get your alcohol mark markers and um, color in the back uh, and then so when you're taking it off uh, you'll find it uh, which ones you haven't actually done uh, which I thought was really good but I just forgot to do it <laughs> so this will be fun taking off but anyways um, organizing is for people who can't remember where they put stuff <laughs> I like that Lola but um, I might have to disagree because I, uh, I still forget where I put stuff, even like a minute ago. Is that too much? There we go. Uh, sticky, sticky. Where are we? That's so tiny. But I want to save as much of these. What I find is like with the floating frame, like as long as you have the edge kind of like covered that will be like the best way to have it i did think of doing like just strips of paper as well um which i might do in the future in um, another idea is that everything covered hopefully mm. oh this one there uh, am i taking too long Bar is like pacing around the back. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I might lose that one. Yeah, okay, that's gonna have to be. Or shall I save it? I'll lose it. There we go. So, obviously, some of the, um, some of the things are kind of like too tiny to put dimensional, so you're just gonna have to lose that as well. Uh, and, and you can't save it. So once that's done, so get your card base. Um, 
bone fold it. Or not actually, that would be better. Uh, and then take off all of the dimensionals. There you go. And then you'll need to place it on top of your card base. Uh, maybe I should have done. So another um, idea would like, if you want this to be a quicker process, I suggest um, kind of like doing big stamps uh, designs so kind of like the petal palette floral design that I use for creating kindness so then you won't have as much little bits uh, because this one takes ages as well but hey ho oh thanks Jian what what What's everyone been doing today? <clears throat> mm, excuse me, sorry. Anyone been crafting? Or relaxing? What have I been doing today? I've been, yes, I've been off. I've got a whole week off uh, from yesterday. I did do a bit of um, paperwork um, this afternoon before I started crafting. And getting ready for the live. Um, other than that, we're, I'm off for the week uh, because it's it's on stage, baby. <laughs> on Saturday, if you're if you're not sure what on stage is, it's um it's an event held by Stampin' Up, uh, and we'll be going to Telford um, to see other demonstrators, um, seeing the new uh, 2019 annual catalog. And um, yes, play with new stuff. Oh, that might need one. Uh, so yes, if you are a demonstrator and going to Telford, hopefully we'll see you there. Uh, we haven't done our swaps yet. <clears throat> yet. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm hoping, I, well, I have to, no, we have class on Tuesday. Um, what is the best way to do this? I'm gonna stand up. Okay, let's just find. So stand up. We sticky. Uh, and just ensure. Okay, I'm just going over the camera. So hopefully that is that straight. Is that straight? Mm. Try not to um move your card. Okay, that looks alright. That looks alright and press and now once it's pressed you can take off um what was i saying i can't remember it must not be that important uh yes yeah, swaps <clears throat> sorry excuse me i got frog in my throat is that correct yes um all right take this off where it would be easiest Fingers crossed it will work because it worked last time. <laughs> yes, swaps. Uh, we are doing a wow swap. So that just needs finishing off. Um, and then, is this going to work? Yeah. So I might have taken it, pressed this too much. But it doesn't matter. So just take it off. Slowly. Sarah, is the press and seal really sticky or um, as you have it? Have you used it? Because I find this one slightly sticky, but it'll, it'll do as an alternative. 25k walk? Wow. A 10k run? I can't see more. Um, I can't um, read more. I think that was from Donna. Um, that is a busy, yes, very busy. I've just been indoors. <laughs> I tend to not go out. Oh, card and kappa tomorrow. Ooh, cool. 
Hope that goes well. And yes, hopefully we'll see your, your Garden Kappa project uh, somewhere online on Facebook. Um, so yeah, so oops, that's just taking off the thing. So it is an okay alternative. It works. Uh, it is slightly sticky and that just spilled off that bit. But uh, if you don't have person seal, I think just use what you have. Think of, yeah, that's taken off. Uh, other, other things that you can use. Uh, some people have used like low tack masking tape. Um, Do you have a post, like is there a big post-it thing? I don't know. But the thing that we had in, in, in the house was this, so... Oop, that's not gonna work, All right. Yes, please, take photos. It's always good to see uh, other people's projects. For inspiration, right, this thing can go in. I'll take my time. La la la. Hopefully you won't get too bored. <laughs> so next week, yeah, we have um tomorrow um nothing, probably sh food shopping. Um Tuesday class, uh, so we need to prep for that. I think Barry's already prepped most of it. Thanks, Barry. <laughs> um, and then swap, we need to finish swaps. Uh, start on other swaps. Um, and then pack or prep for on stage. Uh, we'll be leaving Friday morning. Uh, and we'll be doing... Is this... This is right. take that off. I can't see. Yes, yeah, so the start of like each die, that's where you need to be careful um, to take off. Uh, how about I think if you use the embossing buddy, that will just take the sticking off stickiness off completely so but feel free to try and let me know <laughs> yeah but if you're I quite enjoy just doing this uh, if if you're not in a hurry and you have time this would be a nice wow card to um, give to someone I think anyway. There you go. Oh, it's stuck again. And I think what makes it is it the shadows that it creates, so that's why it looks like it's floating. Uh, some people have done acetate on top uh, without pressing seal, uh, which is nice. Um, but you can see, obviously, the the acetate over it um, so it's not really floating well it's kind of like floating isn't it um, there you go so yeah so I don't think I'll be doing the second card I'll do that off camera and then just plug that um, with this card but this one is nearly done um, you can either stamp the sentiment right at the center on the card base can people still see? There we go. Nearly there, nearly there. Ooh, one more. But I've actually die cut another um in the middle. Just because I didn't want to um ruin it right after doing <laughs> doing the frame. There you go. Right, nearly there, honest. That's what I did. I kept saying we had stock take at work last Wednesday. Nearly there. 
And everyone kept saying, you keep saying that. And I was like, oh, no, it's really there. So got out um, 12.40 in the morning, which is quite good. Very good, I think, compared to other years. So it's fine. Lindsay, you still there? Lindsay works with me. It was so much fun. I didn't get stressed at all. <laughs> Lies. Right, this is... Okay, one more, two more leaves, and then we're there. Come on. Ta -da! So that's the main gone. So as you can see, some of the, because it's the stitch, um, it just has that on the edge of there. So just make sure that's covered like off as well. If you have tweezers would probably be better, uh, but I'll just tidy that off. So it is slightly sticky and it has come off on there. Um, but I think that's really nice. That's really pretty. Pretty. Why do I keep making these voices? I don't know. I. I have no idea. Anyway, all right, that's done. Um, just make sure that that. Just do it again. I don't like it when it go up. There we go. So that is that. <laughs> and breathe. Um, so as I said, I die cut another frame. Um, so that's your off cut. Um, Take that off and then put that on a... Is this really untidy? Okay, I'll take, get rid of all of this eyesore. Thanks, Chrissy! Right. So, yeah, so... That's the off-cut. Excuse me, sorry. Um, I had cola just before I went on. <laughs> Big mistake. Um, do the same for that, uh, maybe even cut another frame, so then that one's floating, so then just to fill in those. Um, so I'll do that another another time. Um, oh, I forget, yeah, um, I can't remember, did I say that I got this, I saw this technique from Jackie Aitken on her Instagram post. If you are on Instagram, we're on there as well. Uh, excuse me for the noise. Uh, Barry's just feeding the cats because I'm like, what, nearly an hour? What? Crazy. I don't think I can talk that much. <laughs> Apparently, I'm wrong. Um, yeah, so thank you, Jackie. Um, follow us on Instagram and follow her on Instagram. Um, where is my die cut? Uh, there. So I've just cut from the same die. So then that can just go in. Uh, maybe I can cut that even lower. So then to have that, I'll cut it at smaller size. Uh, let's, sorry, changing my mind. I just wanted a nice um, border around it. So that was the five. So if we get the four, the fourth. So um, one, two, three, four, no, the six, five and then six. So that one would be smaller, smaller than this one. Oh, pop it up. Oh, I like that, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. Uh, so I'll just cut that out quickly. Um, so then you can go on and enjoy the rest of your Sunday or if you're in Australia, the rest of your Monday morning. Or if you're in the US, Sunday afternoon. Oh, no, wrong one. There we go. Yes, thank you, um, everyone. Um, thank you for still continuing and um, watching. Um, I hope you didn't get too bored. Wobble, wobble. Can't help it. <laughs> the arm is wobbling. Right there. 
So I'm actually just gonna stamp. Maybe I should have stamped first. Um, I'm just gonna stamp the same. So on most of, I don't know if you've noticed, most of our projects, we try to just use one stamp set. Uh, so that's good to show obviously versatility for the stamps. Um, so I'm gonna say, oh, hello friend. So let's do that. <laughs> Um, it's just nice to know that you can do loads of different things using one stamp. So good for our customers um, without having to use loads of different ones. Right, which block? Okay, that will have to do. So I am going to just line that up. Hopefully the, it looks straight to me, but I might be wrong. Um, my last one looked straight, but it was stamped wonky. Wonky. Yeah. Um, I nearly started singing then. Uh, I'm sure you don't want to hear that. Um, okay, so. Tranquil tight. I'm just going to keep it simple. Oh, hello, friend. Um, I'm trying to find the card. See, I've just placed it and I can't find the card that I just made. <laughs> what am I like? There we go. Um, right at the bottom. I can't see. There. Ooh, that's good, isn't it? Isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> in it. Right, and then pop it up like Sarah suggested. I like the idea uh, very much. Thank you. Um, if I can find the card. Barry, did you move it? <laughs> <laughs> I always, always blame Barry or ask him first. Where's this? Where's that? Um, and I'm not even joking. I've really lost it. <laughs> oh, no, it's underneath. There we go. Oh. There we go. So it will go right in the middle. So you have the edge there. Um, and then prop that up. Um, where are you, my dimensionals? There we go. So there. Ooh, di we can put some diamantes. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Glad you enjoyed it. Hopefully, I didn't bubble too much um, but there we go I'll just get some I was like yeah I don't need anything else I'll just get our uh, tub of embellishments and then there we go so I always go for the basic pearls or jewels it's it's just nice it's lovely. Oh, and you can color them with blends. So you can, um, I don't have blends for these, but that's another tip for you. Color it with blends. Um, make it um, go with the colors that you've used on your card. Uh, so quite simple on that sentiment. I'm just gonna place that right in the middle. If I can find the middle. There. And then open this up. Ooh, spares. <laughs> Ooh, spares. <laughs> it's like, I didn't know they were there. Um, where shall I put it? <laughs> um, okay, I'll do. I always, always remember um, to put three. The rule of three apparently works. There we go. So that is done. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you had fun. Look, pop it up. Thank you. Um, and yes, so don't forget, um, you can shop with us if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands. Uh, use the hostess code, which is on our blog. Use the current hostess code, shall I say. Um, um, also eclectic 
Oh, the screen's gone. And the uh, eclectic le- <laughs> after that again. Eclectic eclectic layers. Um thin lids dies and the rectangle stitch dies there. So uh if you love these colors, I love lemon lime twist. Um they're gonna retire soon, so um at the end of May. So please um don't get caught and um run out. Um get the reinkers for it. Um so thank you so much. Um this I'll show you the other one, my alternative floating topper. Oh this there we go. So that one is the simple stamping and that's all my mess in there. Um where have we got the other one? I think that's it. Oh no, here we go. Here we go, under my mess. So that's that one with using the petal palette. Um, there we go. Thank you very much for joining me today. And hopefully we'll see you in Telford. Thank you, Gian. Um, if you are a demonstrator, if you're not, why not? Uh, <laughs> Join our team uh, so you can get uh, loads of um, products for £99. Um, and yes, so you can buy all of your, uh, well, not all, but most. It depends how you, long your wish list is. Shall I just say, you can get more products for your money when you join Stumping Up through us, Mitoso Crafts. Thank you very much. <laughs> Right, thank you again. Sorry, I'm just kind of like going crazy. I think I need to eat. Um, thank you again and um, hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye! <laughs> Finish.